Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. So I'm working on an idea here. I spent about uh, three or four minutes kind of throwing this together. Uh, shout out to 3.30 for coming up with this idea. Instead of using relays all across the top of my base, use lights. And uh, I thought that was a cool idea. It would take more generators, uh, but in the end, I think it would look a lot better especially if we're up in that tower or above the base or whatever on the catwalks that we're going to install. It would look a lot cooler to have the lights. Now, what I ran into in the three or four minutes of testing this is if I put the light flush down where the relay is at there, the wire sags down into the room, through the glass and into the room. So I had to raise it up a block. And it doesn't matter if I put a plate there or whatever I put, it's, you know, any way you look at it, a block is a block, and the light's either going to float above the plate, or you just put it on a solid block. Now, uh, I just had this idea as I was looking at it right before I hit record, um, that I could put lights completely around each block. Since it is kind of eh, protruding up out of the top, and it may not look so great that way, um... I could do this number right here. Let's uh let's wire it all the way around. And I'm gonna light one up here. I'm gonna go fuel this generator up and I'm gonna see how it looks uh to have it illuminated. I went over to the forge. The only thing I've done is just went over and grabbed this business plate glass. Uh, we're going to have to go farm up some electrical parts today. I am completely out. And need to get those. I guess we the paint scheme we have is just going to be blue. Right there. Oh, no, no, no. Black. It's going to be black, isn't it? Like that, with the blue going around the outside. That's how we want to do it. Yeah, that looks better. So, let's get this generator refueled, powered up. Oh yeah, we have plenty of, uh, plenty of power in that one. Now, I don't think I can build my way up through this. Area right here. Uh, so let me go somewhere else and build my way up. Uh, it doesn't matter where, I guess. We need to get all this painted, too. We need to get all of the, uh... All of this horde bunker painted. So, that's what it looks like. Okay, I didn't wire that one up right there. Let's step off from a distance here and take a look at it. You know, so I would have those every place that I had a relay. Now, before I get too involved, because this is going to be kind of time-consuming, uh, I think it would add something cool to the base. Now, I could also do the fluorescent lights. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's remove this one. Let's remove this one. And we'll do one block with the fluorescent lights. And you choose. You tell me which one you think looks better. Because uh, today's episode... We're going to spend, I guess it would look better aiming that way. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It takes about the same kind of resources to uh, craft any of the lights. So you tell me which one you think's better, looks better. And that's the direction we'll go. And we'll have a whole episode dedicated to this, most likely, because it's at least going to take me 30 or 45 minutes to uh, change out the relays with the lights. But, it, you know, it's a cool idea. I like it. Uh, let's look at it from a distance here. Let's go over here. Look at it. So you tell me which one you look better. looks better. I already think I'm kind of liking this one, the fluorescent light, better than the round uh, but the round is, it's not as, hmm. 
doesn't stand out as much, then maybe we want to go with something like, like the round ones because we just want a tiny little bit of light. Let's see how far away we can actually see these lights. Oh, the generator just went off there. Someone didn't pay the light bill. Ah, oh, you can't because I have that land claim block there. We can see them from a long way off. That's kind of neat there how it lights up this area. The lights right there we have. Uh, or maybe even, maybe even a round on the top. Like a round on the top and the fluorescence around the sides. Uh, I don't know. Um, we're just going to make an episode today out of farming up the mats needed for uh, more lights. Because especially if we do this, we're going to need a hundred more of these uh, to complete the room over there. To do the lights in our garden, we need eight more for that. Uh, you know, and I'm not as interested in providing light for up here. That was not the goal. Uh, the goal was to do something cooler than just a standard old relay, like you see right there. And, uh, I'm a little disappointed that I can't put it flush down where the relays were at, because I was just going to put one round light where every relay was located, and then we could, um... Uh, You know, something else I'm looking at here. I didn't put round pieces in right there, and I should. Where that flat block is at, I should have a round piece there. The only disadvantage to having a round piece there, I won't be able to build a block like this on top of it. So I wouldn't be able to put a light like those there. Uh, or there, and that's why I didn't start over there, is because that's a round block, and I was thinking, you know, it wouldn't look right. Uh, or here. Uh, unless I put a full block right there, I guess I could. Uh, but anywhere above the ceiling, uh, much like you see right here, right here. I think it would look kind of silly if I had a flat block placed on top of this block. Uh, I like the smooth look, the way the glass fits into the round piece there. Um, so I don't know if I would actually put a light there. But all of these spots here, there are six here. Um... Let's run over to this side. So that would be uh, like 40 something or 50 something. Uh, then we'd have these, you know, so you would have, oh, well, those are all in round pieces too. I need to figure out a different way of doing this because uh, that doesn't look very good. Well, there's a wandering whore going by. But, uh, you know, I could put one there. And the garden area is going to have several. Yeah, see, we could do one, two, three. Uh, but if you, you know, come up with a better solution, maybe I just put a flat block right there. I don't know that the flat block would look so bad in the middle with these curved blocks joining it uh, into it. Uh, that might look okay. But yeah, from over here, take a look at it. <clears throat> so you tell me. Oh, it got blurry. Fluorescent lights or the round lights? Which one do you think look better? I think the fluorescent look a little better. Uh, cover more space on the block. Uh, but with all of that being said, let's, let's grab our resources. It is 4 a.m. And let's go out and scrap some electronic components. That's going to be the goal for the day. We'll probably stop by the trader. Maybe buy some up from him as well. Uh, let me put my building supplies away. I'm just going to stick my concrete in here. I know next episode will be like, why in the world would I stick concrete in there? <laughs> I always do that. Get it all kind of sorted here. So, I'll tell you what, I'll, we'll take the wood frames with us. We don't need the wire tool. We don't need this uh, glass on us. Paintbrush or the paint. And the switch. I think we need everything else. Okay, so is this done? No, we still have a little more lead. Let's just turn it off for now. It's drawing a screamer over here to it. Now, this one's pretty much done. Uh, we could take all of this out and stuff it in the uh, the building chest, and that way we know what we have, too. Uh, so we have 200 of those, 150 of those. I don't know why I made so many curved business plates. 
Uh, so I also need a wrench. And I think for a wrench, we need what? Mechanical parts and steel. You know, I wasn't even looking. We do have some extra lights in here, don't we? Look at that. Let's put, uh... Let's put the lights there. So we have 29. Uh, certainly still going to need a lot more, but that is comforting to know. Put this there so I have that for another wrench or two. We'll go ahead and put our repair kits in here. We're going to take half of those and put the other half in our inventory. Uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. I guess I can just stick the fuel for the forges in there. Uh, I need to top off, eat some uh, boiled meat until we finish that. And then I'll start cooking up some meat stew again. <laughs> Sounds like a handful of those zombies decided just to stop at my base. Make a little pit stop. It doesn't sound like they're going anywhere either, so we might have to kill them off when we go outside. All right, that's good. Uh, wrenches, there's one's done. Um, I could go to my mini bike and grab that 600 wrench. I think it's in the mini bike. And if it is, we'll grab it. Oh, there's Screamer Lady right there. Oh, I missed her and hit the zombie behind her. Got her, okay. Well, that 600 wrench is almost 100% uh, repaired. All right, didn't know that. I was thinking it was almost broken. Uh, we're going to certainly need uh, all of it to do what we have to do here. Well, it sounds like that zombie's in the base. Uh, let's just take both of these with us. We'll take both of these. Let me scout out a place here. I guess that awful, awful city we started in right there is where we'll go first. And we'll see if we can't find some buildings with the electronic components in them to, uh, to wrench up. I'd say we're going to need several hundred of uh, electronic components, at least a couple hundred. But more like three or four hundred would be ideal. Wow, look at how it's already starting to skip and jump and hop as I get into this city. Ugh. <laughs> look at that car, half in the concrete, half out. It's like they built the road around the car. Uh, that sounds like government work. <laughs> Good enough for government work, right? Fire department, but this is awful. I don't know if you can see this as I come into this city. I can't believe we even built a base in this city initially. I guess it was just kind of necessary where we were at in the game. Uh, I'll tell you what, also, let's stick this in there. We'll go ahead and top that off. Yeah, there you go. So any air conditioning units we can find, they're going to have them as well. That may be our one of our best bets. It's going to be finding AC units behind all of the houses. Look at that, too. Each one has one. So, Oh, there's a wolf, and I jumped off my bike. Get back on your bike. I'm bleeding. Wow, one shot with the exploding crossbow bolt to the face. Got him. Well, you know, that kind of is a waste of meat if I don't... I don't have anything to uh, harvest the meat with. Shame on you, Grand Spartan, for leaving your base without a machete. So two air conditioning units have given us 14 electronic components. That might be the best bang for your buck. 
Um, maybe the lighting gives you about the same amount, but couldn't be more than that. Couldn't be, because that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, especially considering that every house, almost every house has one. Uh, you know, in a city like this that's so large, we can ride from house to house. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, then. I was counting on 30 minutes to get this done. And it may still take 30 minutes, but... I had hoped that it wouldn't take longer than that. Well, let's ride behind these houses. Or I feel like an AC thief. When my wife had a business uh, years ago. And behind her business, she had a an air conditioning unit. And thieves came in the middle of the night, and they stole that air conditioning unit. So, uh, fortunately, my brother-in-law owned a heating and air business and came and installed her a new unit. And that was on a Friday. She came back to work on Monday, and that new unit was gone. <laughs> so, uh, and what they do is they take it and they scrap it for the copper and the aluminum. And uh, so... I went out and bought her a cage. And this cage mounted down to the concrete to go around the AC unit. And uh, so she got the new unit installed uh, for the second time. And it did not disappear. It never went away. Once they, uh, I guess they showed up and saw the cage around it, they thought, eh, that's more work than, than what it's worth. Uh, so they left it alone, but. It uh, just made me think about the story as I was sitting here wrenching these air conditioning units. That's pretty much what they were doing. <laughs> they were just... It's such a waste, too. You know, an AC unit, a big one like that, at least. You know, you're looking at five, six, seven thousand dollars or something. And, uh... And they're only going to get, what, a hundred dollars or so for the copper and the... Uh, a little bit of maybe brass and aluminum that's in, in the uh, unit. Not much. Not much considering the the time, effort, and money it takes to uh, to buy and have one of those things installed. But in this case, I don't think anyone's going to be uh, utilizing these AC units. There's not even any power in any of these houses, nor is there anyone around. They're all zombies now, as you can plainly hear inside of each home. Oh, there's a girl white. Look at that, he had an AK on him. Nice. Yeah, our uh, scavenging skill's getting up there now. We're up to 88 already. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot faster than I had imagined. I was thinking, well, you know, we're going to get a lot of uh, electronic parts or electrical parts but no components uh, but in this case nah getting a decent amount of both how many components are we up to 176 all right well this is it this might be the best way of doing it i'm gonna wrench this refrigerator too what do you get if you wrench a an oven well, i got a little bit of plastic from it I must have died over here. That was like an old backpack of mine. <laughs> I don't remember dying over here, but maybe I did. Well, we may not wrench, or we may not uh, nuke this city to the ground as awful as it is, but... We're going to eventually salvage this city to the ground. <laughs> I keep you know, having need for this type of stuff. I said I'd probably never go back to the city again for anything. Uh, exception of salvaging some things. And here we are. This will be the one of the few times. I'm kind of wondering about that building over there. Uh, that big giant building and how many units might be sitting on the top of it. 
uh, problem would be getting up there. You know, we'd have to go through the building to get up top. And uh, boy, what a pain that would be to have to fight our way through just for a handful of uh, components. Uh, but there may actually be something inside that building. Uh, now, if you recall, this is the city. Pretty sure this is the city that had the issue with the buildings inside of buildings, remember? And that's why we're getting so much lag. Um, take him out so he doesn't get me. Yeah, we scrapped everything here. Um, oh my goodness. We're getting lucky with those headshots on the wolves, because usually that one shot will not kill them. We can't wrench this, can we? No, we're just going to get electrocuted. Boy, that stuns you bad, too. Well, here's a sign. Here's your sign. And get any electronic components out of that, only parts. Oh, look at you. Silly one. Oh, look at you. Big guy. It's a feral white. No. That's a spider. Yeah, we're just going to grab everything we can. Just make this as, as painless as possible. Going through here and scrapping everything. Kind of curious about what's in this building to scrap, though. It's all quiet in here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so how did I get up to the top of this building before? I do not recall. Stairs would make the most sense, but it seemed like I came to a dead end when I came up here last time. And one of these buildings had part of it missing or something, or it was a building inside of it and you couldn't go any higher or something like that. Silly zombie. You're going to kill yourself over there, man. Don't do that. Me help you out with that. Oh, there's another sign. Now, what are we up to? 138. All right. Well, we haven't. I think we were doing a little better when we were out there. Oh, I woke him up. Sorry about that. I think we were doing a little better out there in the uh, doing the air conditioning units. I think we were. Well, there's the stairs that go up right there. Making sure there's nothing in here to uh, salvage. Looks like we've already come through here once. I was pretty sure we had to go through this tower for something. I don't remember what we were looking for. If it was the... Uh... Yeah, I don't remember. All right, let's take this out.
Gonna try to make my way all the way up if I could. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Uh, athletic skill went up. Yeah, we can always chance the trader that, you know, they may have some of the stuff we need, but uh, most of the time they just have a very limited supply of those types of things, lights and electronic components and whatnot. Kind of curious what's in those crates up there. How about you? Trash compactor. Well, we could probably wrench it. Lab equipment. So we must have come over here for beakers. That must be why we came over here. Now, outside of these lights and the fence going around the construction zone, I don't know where there may be a lot of plastic. That would be one thing that we're going to be short on. We'd have to buy from the traders. It'd be plastic. So we're going to need a lot of that. Oh, look at that room in there. More of these here, too. Yeah, we'll probably finish out right here. We'll probably finish out what we're getting right here. So you don't get as many electronic components from this building. This building is laggy. I noticed that a long time ago. That was back on the Alpha 16 Series 1 that I did. Um, and I was looking for beakers or something then. I was coming through this building at nighttime. And my auger almost wouldn't work in this building because it was so laggy running around in here. All right, nothing in there. Oh, there's a woman. Off with your head, lady. I'll say no electronic anything out of that. I know you can get them from these. Uh, you don't get electronic components. You just get electro or electrical components. You just get electronic parts. A gun store box. Oh my goodness, there's a soldier. There's a woman. There's a... Oh... Go, Grant Spartan. Go, Grant Spartan. Go, go. There's a biker. Let's see if we can huddle them all together here. He had six rockets on him. <laughs> what are you, what's he going to do with those six rockets? I probably don't want to know. Here we go with the vitamins again. No, there's plastic. I normally would not take the plastic, um, but being that we already have some in our inventory, we're kind of looking for some now. Drawer. I don't even think I realized those were drawers. Curious what might be in them. Well, just a few more of these. What are we up to? 209. Uh, how many lights would it take? Or components would it take to make these lights? It takes three. Okay. So we need at least 300. Uh, we're, we're almost there now. Uh, these are easy to make if you all decided that you like those better. I, I don't think I do, though, on that square block. I do think I like the fluorescence better. 
Maybe the dome on the top and then the fluorescence along the side, I think is the way I would go with it. Yeah, I think we were doing much better. Uh, realistically, I was trying to make my way up to the rooftop so I could uh, scrap all of the AC units up there. That's That was the goal. Uh, I just got sidetracked. You know how I get. You know how I get. We were almost there, too. Look at that. There's some more lights. A 600 tool will go a long ways. I mean, we were, uh... Well, that was a zombie sitting there. Ah, working stiff box. A couple lights that we don't need. Hey, what do you get if you scrap these? Uh, only scrap iron. That's oh, no good. Well, here you go, folks. If you've never been up top here, I'm going to give you a little tour around the place and show you what you can find. I've only been up here once or twice myself. So... We finished this. Come on, electronic components. We're just getting parts. There we go. There are four. There's even a little sound lag here. I'm noticing in this building. Or on this building. I should have put some hay bales down at the bottom. I could just jump. <laughs> I could just jump off the building instead of having to go back through it. Yeah, it's simple enough. It's simple enough just to go down the stairs. kill him that did though well, those things have uh, a little bit of everything in them oh my goodness what are all the businessmen doing up here Shouldn't they be down, like, in the building? They're not on top of the building? I guess they were trying to get rescued. In the last stand up here on top of the building. That's what that was. All right, got that. All of these are electronic components, too. Or electrical parts, I should say. How close are we to 300? 267. Almost there, folks. Now, what we don't get here, we'll just stop by a few more houses and grab some AC units. And we'll be on our way back to the base. Base, base, base. What are you going to do, man? A little surprise. No AC units up here. I'm guessing they're on the next tier up from us. I'm going to build up there and see. I thought there would be, uh, you know, 10 or 15 up here or something. Ooh, that's not good. Where is he going? Hey, dude. You chill out. Let's see if we can get crouch damage on this guy. Yeah, take him out in one shot. Same on this guy over here. We don't want to have to fight them. If you can crouch, get crouch damage on a sleeper no matter how tough they are. Well, I can't speak about the, uh, the feral radiated cops. I don't think I've ever killed one of them in one shot sleeping, but... 
Uh, I did notice something in XML a long time ago, though, that some sleepers only have like a hit point or 10 or something like that. Uh, they're called dummy sleepers or something. Uh, whereas I think they can, you know, wake up and turn into a regular zombie. Uh, some are not as tough as others while they're sleeping. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was something like that. A dummy sleeper or a... Uh, whatever they call them. Whatever the label was for it. Uh, well, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, I don't think there's going to be... Well, there's some crates up there, but... Outside of the crates, I don't think there's any any uh, electrical uh, components to be had up here. No AC units. Well, I'd have thought there would have been like at least 10, 15, 20 uh, units up here. That's hidden stash. Some silver nuggets. All right. Well, there is a hidden stash up in here. And the helipad, and we're going to jump down where we put these. Go back around. Kind of a bunch of nothing up here. Not even really a death trap, it's just a bunch of nothing. Now there's one more thing we can grab. Well, it's hard to believe we've uh, we've chewed up a half hour into the... Uh, oh my goodness, I almost fell through there. We've chewed up, uh, what, 36 minutes so far. Just scrapping this stuff. Wow. Hopefully it wasn't too, uh, too boring for you. <laughs> I was in desperate need of, you know, electronic components and uh, electrical... Electrical components and electronic parts. I'll get that right one day. I'll say I'm right one day. Uh, okay, this is the bottom. That is the front door, my friends. How close do we get? 303. Look at that. We hit it right on the button. 303. Up in the 303, you know me. Hello, zombies. Our old home is somewhere around here. Hard to drop by there for uh, sentimental reasons at some point. Bring back some awful memories of our early days. <laughs> I was going to ride by this. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. See? Uh, right here. What happens if you wrench this? Plastic. I'll just make a quick trip around this thing and get the plastic off the fence. I hate to get back to the base and we have enough electronic components and parts, but no uh, plastic. Not enough plastic. Uh, this should put us up over the top for all we need. Looks like zombies were gnawing away at the plastic. Oh, like that guy right there. Leave me alone, Mr. Copper. I have no quarrels with you this day. All right. Nice. We'll do a little check when we get back home. And see what we were able to come up with. But that's a that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Now, well, Mr. Piggy, today is your lucky day. As much as I like pork chops and bacon, I have nothing to harvest your meat, your yummy, tasty meat with. Don't even forget that. Someone put that in the comment section. Grand Spartan, grab your machete. 
Oh, I bet you could get. Oh, that's probably cloth. I was gonna say I bet you could get plastic out of that, but that's most likely scrap and cloth and wood. Whoop your pants, take care. Captain Morgan Freeman. Oh, run over! I ran over that buzzard. He didn't hit me. Thankfully, they're a guaranteed infection. If you hit those suckers. Well, that was kind of painless. Didn't take that long. Look at that. Look at that big old base. Oh, my goodness. Thing keeps getting bigger by the day. Certainly getting bigger by the week. All right, I think it would be wise if we were to put this in there. I'll take my 600 wrench inside because we're going to need to uh, repair that. We'll combine it with the extra that I made in here, which was the original plan. And it should be done now, so. Nice. All right. So let's see what we're up to for plastic. We're up to 554. 304 and 1000 so as it stands right now uh, let's put our gun away we'll keep that might be able to get this assault rifle up to 600 soon let's grab another stack of forged I'm gonna need to make a lot more forged iron too so uh, lights, fluorescent light, we can make 101 of those, 142 of those, so we're good. Tell you what, uh, while I'm here and thinking about it, let's go ahead and make 60 of these, and I'll wait to see what you say about the lighting up there. Uh, I think I know what you all are going to say, uh, but uh, I'm, you know, get your feedback on before I take that task on. Must be another wandering horde. My oh, goodness. Put this on there so I don't forget. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call it right there for the day. And when we come back tomorrow, uh, maybe I could have read all your comments by then and your suggestions on the lighting instead of the relays on the top. And we'll finish up the garden lighting. Uh, get that done and knocked out of there. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your support. You have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. I will see you all tomorrow.